Hey everybody, Jeff aka G Curse here. Welcome to another G Curse Reacts. As always, right off the bat, you know what to do. And I greatly appreciate each and every one of you who have subscribed to this little hole in the wall channel. It, it makes me feel very, very good. It makes my heart thaw just a little bit more every time I get a subscriber. It makes me feel good. Anyway, welcome to another G Curse Reacts DSP edition. Today I am going to be reacting to the Duty Streams DSP now begs for $3,750 to eat a Burger King Adams family meal. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't, I, I can't say anything, you know, really, like, wow. I have never met a bigger piece of shit who is as unabashedly scammy as Phil Burnell. Phil Burnell can never fucking just do something for, you know, for something for his fans. These are his fans. He can never do anything for them. He can never do anything. He always has to have a, have it locked away behind some sort of goddamn paywall. Oh, you want me to have a hamburger? Give me $3,700, dude. What the fuck just happened? To, whatever just happened to rewarding the viewers who have been there by your side all the goddamn time? Hell, I recently hit 500 subscribers, and I want to say thank you to each of you. You are all awesome motherfuckers. Anyway, because of that, every time I hit like a milestone, so like say every 50 or 100 subscribers, I will try, you know, I will most likely eat something. I know it's not healthy and, and I understand that. I understand that. But I recently hit 500 subscribers. And I still got, I have this sucker. It is the pecan Snickers. It's brand new from what I understand. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about it. I just haven't had a t chance to eat it yet. But, the fact is, I'm not asking people to fucking pay me for it. I'm doing it out of my heart, you know, as a way of saying thank you to the viewers who actually subscribe to me. Phil, he always fucking has the need to goddamn put it behind a fucking paywall. And that just that just annoys me the fuck out of me. The guy is on such a, a roll. He is making, he, he makes decent money. It's not nowhere near like, uh... Oh God, PewDiePie, or uh, who's another famous guy that's on, or, or like uh, what's the name? Moist Critical, Moist Critical. That guy, that motherfucker gives away money. Can you imagine the jaws I would drop if Phil goes? You know what? We're gonna do a money stream where I'm just, you know, I'm giving my viewers, my fans, money. That we would all explode because we know that's never in his actual human makeup. He, he is. He, he is quite literally the definition of a cockroach. Anyway, let's get to the video, shall we? Oh, why did it do that? That's weird. Hold on. So we are currently at... Okay, that's weird. $43 in contributions. Let's get some more contributions in. Let's get some super chats going. Let's get some tips going. Let's get that... Boom! Right to the goal. Let's hit it right away. because we only. I, I fucking hate this guy. I fucking hate him, which is which people shouldn't really do. We shouldn't really hate people, but there's just something about this guy. The way that he treats everybody, he treats everybody like shit. And then he actually has the audacity to ask them to, to basically support his lifestyle. And that just, that just fucking, that, that just, that just pisses me the fuck off. You know? I would not put it past Phil. Let's say he actually pisses off somebody to the point one of these days that uh, his house gets burned down. He would be on, he would find a way to fucking stream, most likely from his parents' home. And he would be, he would be, the, he would be so fucking sad. Oh, he lost my house. I lost everything. A, uh, a wave of people would actually give him money. He'd get a new house. Ah, look at my new house, you piece of shit. You fucking loser. That's the way he is, and it just annoys the fuck out of me. This guy can never be fucking grateful. He can never do something just to fucking be nice. He, you know, and the whole argument, he, his whole argument is, well, I've done so before. I, I gave, during the hardcore begging season, I gave people games. No, he gave empty boxes. Well, I gave the PS4. Or was it was a PS5, I can't fucking recall. Yeah, and look at what he did ever since then. He fucking, he, he has to remind people when he feels like. 
If you really wanted to do it out of the kindness of your heart, you would just do it and be done. No, you use that as a fucking way, as a, as a tool. Oh, I'm a good guy. I gave people some. See, 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 see. No, no, Phil, you're a piece of shit. Two more to go. This stream and tonight's fighting game stream of Marvel vs. Capcom Collection. And when we hit it on both of those, that's it. We're doing the special DSP tries it. In addition, we currently have almost 400 viewers and we have 54 likes. Let's get some more likes on the stream. Let's get that up to 100 likes right now. There's so many of you here enjoying the podcast. Click the like button. Help the channel. Get some engagement going. Let's like the stream. Let's do it, guys. Okay? All right. Now. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure what the fuck it is. There is just something about this piece of shit that I, I literally want to see him just crash and burn. I want to see him crash and burn. And it's kind of like what people said before. And this is why he is known as a pig roach. It seems like he is in, in, untouchable to fate, you know. And, and the thing is, that's why he fucking hides in that goddamn gated community. It isn't because he thinks he's earned it. No, he uses that as a fucking shield because he knows damn well if he spent too much time out in general population, he get fucking shanked. I'll make you a bet. You don't go around treating people like utter garbage for 10 plus years and think that you're going to have so much fucking good karma that people are just going to nicely throw money at you. No, you have done everything possible to piss off people. I, I would not be shocked if he literally opens that door up every morning just to see if there's a red dot somewhere on the door to see if there's a sniper or something. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but already <laughs> this week, People said, well, Phil, why are you doing the Krabby Patty meal? Why aren't you doing the Adams Family meal? And I said, what? Come to find out, yes, this is real. <laughs> this is actually real. You ready for this? Oh, I love this. Don't you, don't you just love how he ragged on uh, writ or review tech? For taking so long in between his sentences that he was harassing Rick for that. But look, listen to the dead air on this motherfucker here. Hold on. Hurry the fuck up, Phil. We don't have all day. They're actually, do get the fuck this out of here. Get this out of here. This ad will end in 22 seconds. This ad will kiss my ass. Okay, now this is something that fucking pissed me off. Didn't a, a while ago, didn't this piece of shit? Get upset at people who are using adblock. He got p pissed at people using adblock because it would impact his, uh, impact his, basically his money. But look at, listen to this. He doesn't want those fucking ads there. It's, it's for, it's every, he, it's a rules for thee, not for me mentality that he has. That's, you know, he, he ads, I don't want ads, but you better fucking watch the ads I have. Those ads are helping me keep the keep the wife fed. You better not be skipping those ads. You better not have ad block. But it was but when it's Phil, oh get rid of all that fucking shit. I don't want to see those fucking ads. Okay. They're actually doing an Adam's family tie-in menu at Burger King. What does it include? The Wednesday Whopper, which is a Whopper with Swiss cheese instead of American, and a purple bun. The things rings with just regular onion rings but it's branded to act like it's thing the hand no one really fucking cares what's in it I'll be honest I don't even fucking care you dip in a sauce isn't that incredibly like racially offensive isn't that incredibly race, raceful, racially offensive this is Greg coming from ah, kill all the remaining Jews kill all the remaining Jews he's black he's black he, yeah, he, this motherfucker is the one that should be really telling people about what's racially, racial, God, I can't even say it, racially sensitive. Yeah, this is a piece of shit that we should be really listening to. Sell that girl. Piece of shit. That because Gomez is Hispanic that he eats churros, right? Okay, Phil, sure thing, whatever. 
messed up, is it not? Is that, I mean, am I wrong? Yeah, you're I mean, fucking wrong, like, Phil. Why do they have that? And then they have Morticia's shape. And I think it says down here what's in it. Dead air. Dead. Come on, you piece Morticia's of shit. Say cookie something. cookie chocolate shake. A soft serve mixed with chocolate cake batter fudge and topped with black and purple cookie pieces. Okay? So, this week, obviously, you guys liked the idea of me trying out the Krabby Patty meal. And why doesn't he just fucking, like I said, he has to fucking put everything behind a goddamn paywall, and that just annoys the fuck out of me. He, why can't, if everything is turning around and it's so peachy for him, why does he feel the need to fucking make the viewers pay for something like this? He goes and gets fucking DoorDash daily anyway. This goes to what I always say. He does not view his viewers as actual people. Well, maybe he views Derek as an actual person because, you know, we all know that there's something there between Phil and Derek. But everybody else, he doesn't fucking view as a person. He views him as a goddamn ATM. And that's fucking pathetic because those people are fucking dense. And I'm not saying dense, D-E-N-T-S. I'm talking about dense as in... D-E-N-S-E. They're dense as fucking hell. They don't realize they're being fucking mistreated. Everybody likes him. Yeah, he can't fucking do something just free for the viewers. From Wendy's, and I'm going to do that on Saturday as long as we hit our goals this stream and tonight's stream. Next week, if we hit the goals... All right, same as this week. So this week it was, what, 13? So we'll do the same thing. If I hit 13 goals in a row over the course of the seven days I'm streaming, then I will do a live DSP Tries It of the entire Adam's Family menu from Burger King that next coming weekend. So this weekend it'll be the Krabby Patty. Next weekend it will be the Adam's Family menu. All right? You guys liked it so much. I don't. He can literally go, hey, you guys like this idea so much. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to, you know, you know, this stupid fucking uh, goal that I'm putting that you guys want me to eat this stuff. You know, f you know what? Because I like you guys so much. I'm not even going to fucking do that. Tomorrow, I'm actually ordering it. I'm going to do it on stream. Yes, I, I'm, you know, I want to give it to you guys. He could do that, but he fucking doesn't. He views people as a goddamn A team, and that's what pisses me the fuck off. Because there are content creators that bust their fucking ass. They they don't get anywhere. They 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 don't even qualify for fucking monetization. And then you got scamming pieces of shit, walking tumors, homunculuses, like this guy, and, and he he. Fucking has everything, and he doesn't appreciate it. He fucking doesn't appreciate it. You give a a, a a content creator who doesn't who who doesn't even have, you know, who can meet the goddamn qualifications that YouTube says. Now, to those who are unaware, YouTube has fucking stringent monetization requirements. Even if you get subscribers, it isn't just subscribers. You gotta have specific amounts of views for 365 days. People sometimes don't even fucking hit that, but they continue to do what they do because they love what they do. But this piece of shit, he can do this and he doesn't, he's been literally given the keys to the kingdom. He has not earned any of this at all. He, and I'll, I'll go out there and say he has not earned any of this at all. He can't even be fucking grateful. He has to fucking paywall everything. I don't know why we wouldn't continue that, right? So let's do it. But, you know, the truth is, it's kind of a moot point. Because if we don't hit the goals the truth today... Is, the truth is, this guy's a piece of fucking shit. Right? So, let's do it. Let's absolutely do it.
Let's kick the goal right now. Let's let's uh, get some contributions in. Let's get the King's Coffers rising. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Okay. Cool. And let's get these soccer controls out of here. We've been in here for a day or two, and I was very lenient, and now I'm getting rid of them because they're just sitting there soccer counting, so get the fuck out. All right. Sweet. Um, I'm almost done with everything I wanted to talk about today, but I actually have two. Okay, that's it. I don't want to see any more of this. Basically, that's what it was, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, uh, that piece of shit is just, he is now asking people for money to eat a fucking hamburger. Let that sink in, ladies and gentlemen. Let that sink in. Look at the vast website of YouTube. You can find hundreds, hell, you can find millions of content creators that YouTube just fucking shits on with their algorithm. They are fighting just to get one subscriber. Yet, somebody like Phil Burnell and and YouTube doesn't even fucking do anything about it. He scams people. He begs money from people. YouTube won't do anything. In fact, they basically give him a large audience. While hardworking content creators that do this shit as a fucking labor of love, as a hobby, and they can't get anywhere. Sorry, you love what you do? Ah, oh, fuck you. There's a guy over there that wants to beg for food. Okay, that's it, everybody. As always, if you like what you watch, feel free to click that subscribe button. And until next time, my name is Jeff, a.k.a. G. Chris, wishing you all a great day. Stay safe and fuck you, DSP Gaming.